Hello everyone, this is Jennifer and I'm here to do the daily reading. We're going to do it a little bit different today. And um, kind of the same format, but I'm going to do more of a channeled message from your Divine Masculine. Also, I wanted to show this beautiful new deck that I have. It is from Charlotte at Happy Twins 1111. We work together um, on a in a twin flame f uh, divine feminine collective um, group that is trying to advance the knowledge of the twin flame collective. So look for more work from us very soon. I think it's, this is one of my favorite cards I've ever seen. I think it's one of the most beautiful cards. Um, it's amazing. So, I'm gonna get started. I am going to start with air and um, draw four of these cards, talk about the air collective and what's going on with them. We've had huge big shifts. Uh, coming through and then I'm going to do a channeled message from your masculine and that's what they want me to do so hopefully it's going to be beneficial for you I've got already a ton of energy coming through me and if I need any clarifiers Sorry, the burping and the yawning is just the energy coming through. Um, I have a Rider Waite deck over here. So. All right. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, they're just seeing you as immensely, these are the two most valuable cards in this deck in terms of like worth, value. So both on the material plane and the spiritual plane, whatever's happened recently, which for me, it's weighing very heavy. I can feel the, like, the pressure of it on me. It feels like gold, um, just weighing down very heavily, like, they feel this very, very much. It is activating them in a way to be fearless, but also considerate. Um, you have a seven and a four card, which adds up to 11. Very, very spiritually guided, but also very stable. They don't want to... I'm hearing the word disvalue. They don't want to treat you like you're um, unvaluable, like you're worthless. And there's something that happened in this past like 10 days, I want to say, that you showed how much you value yourself. It was a shift for you. And they definitely took notice and understood um, that you weren't going to put up with um, being unvalued anymore. So whatever that was for you, it was an important step for you to take. For a few of you, it might still be in the future. Um... Okay, I do want to mention if you would like a Twin Flame check or energy healing, I offer these on Fiverr starting at $5. The link is below. I am almost caught up from the big log of backwards I had. So, um, I do keep seeing water. Some choppy waves on their side. 
What am I doing here? Let's find out. There's just a tremendous amount of sadness in the heart space right now. I guess we're doing it this way. I feel a little bit dizzy also. There's a lot, a lot of movement going on. Okay. I don't know if some of it's underground. Let's get started with Gemini. Starting with Four of Wands. To my beloved feminine, you are my mirrored reflection. You are my light in the rainstorm. I see how much I've asked you to carry how strong you've been. I see the same fire in you that I see in myself. I want to have this solid foundation and to build a tremendous legacy with you. I know that you keep so much inside of you and it's not fair that I've asked you to carry so much while I've just come in and out. I long to hold you. I long to just tear everything down and be with you. I know I can't do that right now. I'm still trying to find parts of me that I need to have so I can be the whole person you need me to be. But just know I see a future with you so please remain resilient. All right, Gemini, that was a beautiful message. I hope it helped you. I hope you got something out of that. If you'd like your own personal channel message, I can do that for you. Just contact me on Fiverr. Hi, Libra. Wow. Sorry, I'm so quiet. This message is so intense. <sighs> my beloved, you are my world. You are my everything. My heart is filled with tears. I feel like I have ruined everything. <coughs> you 
You have awoken me to the power within me, to my own unlimited nature. Your love nourishes my soul. I don't know how I could ever repay you. I don't see how I could be your counterpart or ever manifest this. I've just messed up so badly. I know that you are my other half. You are my infinite universe. But I don't understand how I could ever be as good as you are. I know spirit wants me. to expand and I'm resisting this. My heart hurts so badly. If I tell you the way that I feel and you reject me, I think I would die. I'm so afraid. Please don't leave me. Please know how special I think you are. You are my moon. You are my sun. You are my world. I'm trying to find the confidence to tell you this. To tell you that I love you. All right, Libra, I hope you helped. that helped you. I hope it brought you some clarity and peace and what you needed to know right now. If you'd like your own channel message, you can contact me on Fiverr. Hi, Aquarius. <sighs> These messages are so intense. I'm going to be doing a channel message for you. From your masculine just know it's not about gender it's... my beloved I know you're worried about time. I know that our bond stretches from forever, from the beginning of time to infinity. I know you are my high priestess. You are my beloved. I'm hiding that I think you're the most beautiful thing that's ever existed. Your beauty brings tears to my eyes. How could someone like you ever love me? I'm afraid to make a decision. My heart My heart is hidden. I don't want to expose myself. I want it to stay hidden from you. Sometimes I try to let you know how much your beauty and wisdom mean to me, 
how valuable I think you are. But I feel too exposed. And then I go right back to hiding. I know you can see through it. I know you can see through my smoke and mirrors. I so want to hold your hand again. I so want something more stable. I just don't know how. I'm trying to figure it out. Please have faith in me. I know I've asked you to wait a long time. I am seeing more clearly. I am going through a transformation during this Pisces season. So please have faith in me. I hope that helped you, Aquarius. I hope it gave you some insight and uh, to what your person's thinking and feeling right now. If you like this, I would so appreciate your like, share, subscribes, and comments. It helps my channel grow. And um, also, if you'd like a channel message of your own, uh, contact me on Fiverr. And if that's something that people um, want to have, I can offer it more in the future. So thank you so much. I um, wish you much love on your journey. All right, we're going to go to water now. Hi, water signs. I'm doing a channel message today. I am going to give an overview of water with these two decks, and then I'm going to draw some cards from these decks for each individual sign and channel a message from your DM. These beautiful cards, oh, I love it, um, were a gift to me from... Charlotte at Happy Twins 1111, who I work with in um, the Divine Feminine Collective. So thank you so much. I love them. I did show the Two of Cups earlier in the beginning, so it's one of my favorite cards I've ever seen. And uh, I'm excited to have new cards. I have five new decks now to use. Um, so let's get to it here. Independence and co-creating with spirit. Beautiful. So your masculine's really in some of their own power right now. You might not be talking to them. Um, they're trying to get... Ooh, okay. Take those. All right, we're taking them. Well, you may be talking to them because that is a communication, but they are also trying to get to um, some truth. Like, they want to take the right actions, they want clarity. They want to be uh, in their psychic power. And they're really trying to actually heal. Um, it's interesting what's coming through. They're trying to hear, heal part of their spirit. They're trying to heal with spirit. This is also my marijuana card. Some of your masculines may be partaking. Um... But the blue card, it, it does indicate that there will be, after this healing is done and they um, come into some more clarity through their psychic senses, um, they will be communicating with you what they have learned. It's very interesting and also it's telling me that they are um, very receptive to channeling right now they're through me through other people they do want you to respect their independence right now um, for whatever reason it's 
it's, oh geez, important to them. Yeah, the moon and the tower just fell out. Um, it's important for them. Some, they're gaining independence. Something's important for them. You have a four and an eight card. They want some stability in their spiritual nature. Like they want to feel more spiritually grounded. Oops, okay. Nothing like a new deck, is there? Am I just wanting one of these? I don't know. So we're going to get started here with Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Let me change this. Music. Wow. Wow. Wow, Cancer. I'll do 21, 21 for you. What Pisces has been getting lately. You got the Twin Flame card. Acceptance. Turtle. Another four. And another eight. If you didn't watch the intro, we saw fours and eights come up. Ooh, so much energy coming through. Okay, let me ground this. <sighs> My beloved twin flame. Whenever you look at me, my heart feels naked. I want to give everything to you. I want to surrender and accept everything and just give you my heart and tell you how much I love you. Something is holding me back. I get caught in my mind and I think, how can this ever be real? How can this ever be true? How can I have such strong feelings for you? Do you feel the same way? In my heart, I feel like you do. In my heart, I feel like we're a perfect match. You make me feel like my heart's on fire. It scares me sometimes how much I feel. I know we've been together for lifetimes, and yet I'm still having such a hard time moving forward. I still wanna hide. Sometimes I don't even know what to say. My mind takes over and I get so scared. Could we even handle all this change? What if we were together and everything fell apart? I just go back into my shell and I wait and I try to think, what would you even need me for? You have everything, you're perfect. I don't really understand all of this. I'm trying to accept it. I'm trying to accept spirit, my spiritual side. I don't know though, I don't feel special. I don't feel worthy sometimes, especially when I look at you. but I can't deny that I feel this spark that I've never felt before. That keeps me going.
I'll try to be strong enough to tell you how I feel soon. <sighs> wow, that was beautiful. Tense energy coming through there. I hope that helped you, Cancer. If you'd like your own child message from your masculine, you can contact me on Fiverr. Okay, hi, Scorpio. Again, there's a there's a need for space here. Again, with a four and the eight, we saw it in the opening, and we saw it in Cancer. All right, let me feel what I feel. My beloved. You've given so much to me. Even when I do nothing, you still give. You see me through eyes that no one's seen me through. Your love awakens a hunger in me I have never known. I fear this intimacy. I've been hurt so badly in the past. I fear you will judge me. I try to be playful so you, you can't see how much you mean to me. I'm trying to heal this pain. I don't, I don't want to feel so deeply, but I do. I know this is special. I want to get to the place where we can just give and receive freely. I want to talk about all this with you. I know things have to change, but right now I'm just trying to heal, to figure it out. I do want to be my best self for you. I see 1111 all the time. I wonder if you do too. I wonder if you're sending me messages. I wonder if you can accept that I'm sometimes silly and goofy and kind of a dork. <laughs> I don't want you to see that side of me because I feel like you're so special and amazing, but I'm kind of nerdy and Like, can you accept me for who I am? Thank you for being you. No matter what happens in the future, just know I will always love you. All right, I hope that helped you, Scorpio. It was a beautiful message. If you'd like your own channel message from your masculine, you can contact me on Fiverr. Hi, Pisces. Have six cards. Got your own card, the High Priestess and the Owl, and full moon power. So we just had a full moon. To my beloved, do I have your heart? I don't know. 
I don't like sneaking around and playing my options. It's all I know how to do. I want to give you a deeper part of me, the part of me that nobody sees. I want to give to you something as valuable as you've given me. I want to acknowledge what's in my heart because it's you. I want to acknowledge this soul connection. I want to say it to you. I want to give you a gift. But right now I'm just stuck. My head is clouded. I've done so much wrong in my life. How could I be your counterpart? How could spirit see me as somebody worthy of this love, worthy of this journey? I'm so scared of my own power. I don't even know. Could I even be as powerful and magnificent as you? I feel like there's darkness around me. I don't feel like I hold that kind of light, the kind of light I see in you. What if I try and I fail? What if you're wrong? I'm afraid of commitment. I'm afraid. I'm just not good enough. I can't believe you love me. I can't believe someone as magical as you thinks that I'm worthy of your love and your equal. In my heart, I know it's true. I know you're meant for me, but I haven't accepted it yet. So I keep playing games. It feels better that way. I hope you'll wait for me. But if you don't, I know. You're mine in my heart. Oh, it's a lot of sadness there. I hope that helped you. If you'd like your own channel message from your masculine, go ahead and contact me on Fiverr and I can do that for you. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. It means the world to me. It helps me grow my channel and um, I really, really appreciate it. All right, lots of love to you on your journey. Um, I know how hard it is, so just know there's support and love for you, okay? I'm going to move on to Earth Signs. Hi, Earth Signs. We're going to do a channel message today from your masculine using these decks. This is a new deck for me. Um, oh, she keeps coming out today. From Charlotte at Happy Twins 1111. We work together in the Divine Feminine Collective. And all right. Four or five cards. Wow. Okay. Maybe too many. All right. Earth Signs. The 
I do feel like the silver card is the full moon we had uh, this weekend. Could be a celebration for you too, but there's some sort of triggering that happened with your masculine of deep past life memories beyond the veil and them, they want to step up into their power. So they're very much um, looking at how can they be, it does seem to be a common feeling right now in the collective, but yeah, something happened. Yep, that's exactly what I just said. Um, some recollection of this great mystery has triggered them to want to be this leader. I love this die card. It's so pretty. Um, they have an 11 card and a 4. So yeah, that 4 seems to be coming through a lot. And them wanting to be stable, make some changes. There's definitely some sort of movement forward here where they... You've triggered something in them. Something triggered something in them to change for sure. Okay. So they're definitely stepping up into a more masculine energy. And Spirit's definitely communicating with them on perhaps the subconscious level because we're in Pisces. Um, that might be what's coming through. I think they got an extra card. But these cards are new, so they're sticking a little bit. Um, yeah, something touched their heart. Something showed them a purification of some sort. They showed them your pure love. Maybe you communicated something with them. Because whatever they were doing before, they're sh it's showing me that they don't want to play the games they were playing before. They might try to play new ones. You never know with the masculines, right? All right. Ooh, nice. An air sign got this. Taurus. Oh, it's so pretty. So you have three major arcana here. Somebody else got beauty already too. Okay. My beloved. My heart wants to move forward with you in a new beginning. Your beauty is overwhelming and I think about your lips all the time. You're so unique and special and beautiful. I can see that we're connected. I can see there's this beautiful web connecting us. I can't deny it. I feel it. I see it in my dreams. I know it in my heart. I want to move forward. I want to take a new beginning and yet I'm stuck. I feel so stuck. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to understand it from your perspective. I'm trying really hard to understand the spiritual perspective. How could spirit bring me something so beautiful? Are we really the same soul? If it's true, my heart feels like it's going to burst. If it's true, 
how can I deny you? If it's true, it means I have to hurt people. I don't want to hurt. And yet something's calling me to take the lead now, to trust, to go towards my dreams. I've never actually lived my own dreams. I was living other people's dreams for me. Am I strong enough to let go of them? Am I strong enough? to really be authentic and live my own dreams with you. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. It's a beautiful message, Taurus. Thank you for being here, listening, subscribing, sharing. I so appreciate it. If you'd like your own channeled message from your masculine, you can contact me on Fiverr. All right. Hi, Virgo. Yeah, you got six cards. <sighs> So much fire. My beloved, you are setting my heart on fire. You are burning away my boundaries. You are igniting my passions with light and heat and warmth. I want to come to you. I want to give you an offer of passion. I've been thinking about this for so long, wondering, is it the right time to tell you that I want everything with you. Something has kept me out. So I've tried to be strategic. I've tried to be somewhat cunning. Am I in your heart? Is it possible that we have something like this together? Do you see a future with me too? I'm waiting. I keep waiting. I keep investing behind the scenes, hoping when the time's right, we can have something amazing. I'm trying to get rid of any negative thoughts that I have. I want to rush towards you so quickly, but I know if I want something real in the future, I've got to wait to the right time. I've got to keep waiting until I know it's exactly the right time. I hope that helps you. I know waiting messages are never the easiest to hear. If you'd like your own channel message from your masculine, you can contact me on Fiverr, the link's below. Hi, Capricorn.
You have two fours here, two movements, okay. My beloved, I'm sorry I am so stubborn. I hate feeling emotional. I know I have to let go of some things to come towards you. There's things I want to say and there's things that I feel really strongly. But when I try to talk to you, my words get lost. I can't even get them out of my mouth. And it feels like my heart closes up. How can I tell you that I feel this strongly? I don't wanna be vulnerable like that. I don't want you to have power over me. People have hurt me in the past and I still resent that. But I know, I know we're connected. I know we've, we're connected on earth and I know we're connected in the spiritual realm. I want union with you. I know this is my path. Sometimes I get really distracted. Sometimes I get caught up in the past. Sometimes I get angry even. And I'm sorry if I've hurt you. I know sometimes I can say things I don't really mean. I know you can too. I hope at some point all can be forgiven. We can speak our real truth. It seems a little bit far away right now. But I really want to move towards it. I want to be honest. Would you let go of anything in the past? Would you let go of the hurts if I came to you and told you how I felt? I send you signs. Do you see them? I love you. I hope that helped Capricorn. That was a beautiful message, actually. Um, if you like your own child message from your masculine, you can contact me on Fiverr. And um, yeah, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. I really, really appreciate your support of my channel. All right. Hi, Aries. I'm sorry. Hi, fire signs. Let me get the fire guidance cards here and then we'll draw the cards for your channel message from your masculine. Also, I do want to show uh, this. This new deck I got is from uh, Charlotte at Happy Twins 1111. We work together in Divine Collective and I really appreciate that beautiful gift. It's um amazing, amazing deck. The Naked Tarot. It's got some amazing uh, illustrations on it. So. It is my first time using it on a reading. So let's see what is going on with the fire signs today. 
Lots of movement in the collective. We've gotten lots of fours and eights, so desire for stability. Ooh, hermiting and tele telepathy. Mystery and this is an Atlantean Lemurian card for me. We have an eight here. Excuse me, lots of energy moving through. Very high level spiritual cards, very high level vibrations. Lots of Lemurian energy coming through. A lot of downloads coming through for fire signs. I think from these cards, from what I'm seeing, you would be um, having some feelings of up, up leveling. Um, leveling up. I know that message was coming through on the last um, collective reading I did. And I felt that energy a lot coming through this weekend with the full moon. And you do have the Virgo card here, so that might have activated your masculine. Um, especially about the give and take and um, the abundance, like them wanting to step up and to manifest some more stability in their lives, some more abundance. them having some recognition about your connection being special, being more than just, you know, some kind of passing fancy. Oh, all right. This deck also is a gift. It's really beautiful. I love it. Um, the Black Moon Oracle. Actually, no. This is the Wisdom of the Moon. The Queen of the Moon Oracle. All right. Let's get started with Aries. All right. I do think... Um, I want to say Cancer or Pisces got that. Somebody got this too. Yeah, a lot of repeating cards here. My beloved, I'm going through a death. It feels, like a death, a part of my soul. Feels like in order to come to you, I have to purify my heart. I have to strip my roots and uncover everything in the name of judgment. It feels like my soul is being weighed and I'm coming up short. Can you ever forgive me for not being there for you, for juggling you, from pushing you to the side and making you feel sad, hurting you? Can you forgive me so we could move forward? 
I know I put you in a third party situation. I know I played games with you, but now it's all coming back to me because I want you to come back to me. And so I'm having to deal with everything and balance it out. I know I'm going to have to invest more in you. I know you can see straight into my heart. I don't want to go through this dark night. I don't want to feel everything I have to feel. But I know it's the truth. It's so mysterious to me. I thought I would just basically be alone. But then there was you. And I thought, is this true? Can it be real? And I'm seeing it is true. But it's too late because I hurt you so badly. I want you to forgive me. I want you to open up your heart again. I'm becoming a different person. The veil's being lifted off of my vision. Sometimes I feel like I can hear you talking to me. Are you? Are you talking to me? Do we have that kind of connection? Will you send me a sign? All right, that was your channel message. I hope it helped you. If you'd like your own channel message from your masculine, you can contact me on Fiverr. Hi, Leo. My beloved, I'm hiding from you. I'm hiding from you, but I want to come tell you how beautiful you are. I want to tell you about all this emotion and passion I have for you. Right now, I'm just sitting in the shadows I have to protect my heart. You have everything. You're so amazing. How could you love me? I'm like the dark to your light. I don't even understand how you could want anything I have. And yet I feel like so much emotion for you, so much passion for you. I want all of these negative thoughts I have about myself to go. I want to be reborn as the person I feel like I need to be for you to see me the way I want you to see me. I'm protecting myself. I'm showing you something other than the real me.
but soon I'm going to come to you and tell you and ask you, is it possible that we could have a fresh start, have a new start, that we could build something together? You're so mysteriously beautiful to me. I know you're from the divine. I know you're a gift to me in this world. I treasure you. All right, Leo, I hope that helped you. If you'd like your own message from your masculine, you can contact me on Fiverr. Hi, Sagittarius. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, this way. Again with this Four of Pentacles. So much. My beloved. I know you. I know you from lifetimes ago. You make me want to be the best masculine I could be. You bring up so much in me. It feels like I've been buried in the earth. Like I've hidden everything away. Is there so much pain I've been through? But you make me want to push through the earth and come into the light. You make me want to live my dreams. You make me want to trust this passion. You make me want to build something new. I can't deny that you're so special to me. You're like this unicorn that just ran into my life. You're like no one else I've ever met. It's like my world was black and white and then you came in it and you brought color. You brought wings to my heart. You made me want to embrace life again, but I'm still afraid. Could we build something together? I hear you singing to me, calling me. Sometimes I smell you. I dream of you. Sometimes I feel things for you and sometimes I think things about you. It's amazing. No one has ever affected me like this before. I feel like my whole life is about to change. But I hide it all away from the world. No one can see except for you. And even then I won't admit it. I know I can leave everything behind. I just haven't done it yet. I'm working on it. I know life with you will be an amazing adventure. All right, that was beautiful. Lots of love there. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. If you want your own channel message from your masculine, I can do that for you. Please contact me on Fiverr. Lots of love. Bye for now.